This is a video showing you how to repair at home a leak from your wave runner uh, through the drive shaft housing uh, adhesive failure and the seal in the bearing housing area. Uh, I've been at this for hours today. I started early this morning and I've had to take pieces to my shop and use a torch to get the bolts undone because they were put in with Loctite and they would have broke if I just tried to manhandle them here today. So anyways, what I've done, and I'll show you step by step, is if you have, my, this is an 08 VX Deluxe, by the way, and I believe they've had this problem with earlier models. If you take the air box out, first thing, it, the engine right now is on a hoist and move forward about 8 inches where the air box would have been. The air box is right over here on the floor. That's the first part I took out. One of the bolts broke. Oh well, what can you do? So, I only had to disconnect a couple of hoses, one to the uh, air intake tube, which goes on your throttle body, and it wraps around under the engine here, but uh, I didn't disconnect any wiring other than what was on your uh, main coil box and the ignition module, uh, PCM I guess. Uh, that was easy to take out, four bolts, it mounts right down in here, on this bracket down there. So. The air box and that came out first, then I was able to access the motor mount bolts which are down there. You see there's one of the mounts and there's another mount straight down there and underneath the engine at the front of course there's two more mounts. These bolts were very tight and difficult to get out. Um, having to reach in and underneath the engine is a problem but patience will uh, allow you to do this. You can do this at home everybody. Uh, I've been quoted upwards of seven hundred fifty to a thousand dollars by a Yamaha dealer to do this job but I opted to do it myself because they won't get it done this summer so if I don't do it myself then it's not going to get done so you can see the area right at, down here where the shaft housing cover sits and this is the shaft housing cover I completely cleaned it all off sanded it so that the glue will stick to it better uh, took out all the uh, corrosion from the seal down here. Now this is the shaft seal that goes to the bearing housing. This is the cover for the bearing housing. Bearing housing uh, bushing is here with the impeller on the drive shaft. There is some scoring and wear on this drive shaft and I'm going to measure it to see how deep the grooves are to see if it's feasible just to put new seals on and hopefully it'll last for a while longer. But there's the adhesive that I chiseled off. It helps to use a heat gun. You have to use a heat gun to get this cover off. You heat it all up with a heat gun once the bolts are out. And then I gently pry it on it from different angles and it finally just popped off. And I had to use a hammer and actually a, a flooring scraper that I tapped. This tool right there tapped off all the glue. I still have a little bit left to, to take off down there. And I'm going to do that. And I'm going to sand the shine off that plastic crisscross sanding with a 120 grit paper to make the glue adhere better. It's a 3M product I'm using. I opted to use the 3M 4000 marine adhesive. It'll, it's, it has a 24 hour cure instead of a 7 day cure, which is the 5000. Only because I want to get out and use this thing this summer. So this can be done at home. Uh, actually, when I took the the main bearings apart in this housing. I'll show you them. I'll dump them on this piece of cardboard because they're covered full of grease. There's the outer race of the bearing. There were actually, uh, when I shook this around, it sounded like a, uh, a rattle. That's because here's the inner race. And here's some of the ball bearings that literally fell out of this housing once I pressed it out in the hydraulic press at the shop. And anyways, obviously it's going to need a new bearing and some new seals. These are the seals there. There's the other one here. I did break one bolt on this housing. That hole right there. But uh, once I got the housing cover off, this cover, I was able to get it out with some oxyacetylene and uh, some heat, obviously. 
and a pair of vice grips and out it came. So it needs, as I say, a new bearing, new seals. Don't skimp, do it right. Don't put the old seals back in. I would never trust that. I'm sure this was leaking through it. You'd never have that kind of bearing damage otherwise. Anyways. So once a new, I'm going to bond the cover back in this evening. It'll be cured within 24 hours. Uh, then tomorrow morning, first thing, I'm going to order the seals and bearing from a Yamaha dealer. And hopefully within a few days, I can get them back, press them on the shaft, and uh, put it all back together. I would say total time involved, uh, well, I'm, I'm a licensed mechanic and I worked on just about everything, but this is completely different to me, but it was the same, or very similar to, it was to working on an old car with, you know, seized bolts and things. So, you have to heat up seized bolts, they won't come out otherwise. Um, and to remove adhesive, you have to use heat, and it makes your job a whole lot easier. So, you can do this at home. Just be patient, take your time, and don't use worn out sockets because you'll, you're in spots where you can't really see. You don't want them slipping off and, and damaging the bolts. You'll never get them out whatsoever. All right, that's what you're into. So if you own a VX Deluxe or a VX Sport, they have the, uh, I believe from 2006 up, they have the same setup. Uh, oh, by the way, you have to take the injector rail off. It's very simple. A couple of bolts, uh, move the electrical out of the way, the little um, plugs for the injectors. And then you don't have to disconnect the fuel rail, or the fuel line, I should say, which is factory crimped on with the high pressure crimps. So you can do this at home. It's going to probably take, I would say, I started to say, I've been into it for at least six hours today, seven hours perhaps. And to put it all back together will probably take a lot less now that I know what I'm into. So on a good day, this job will take you 10 hours. If you're, if you're inexperienced and have a lot of trouble, you have some broken bolts, it may take a lot longer. But you can do it. You save yourself a lot of money. And that leak will be fixed. Bye-bye.